Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EJ advises someone on the phone in his office to calm down. They are both secure as long as he is speaking on their behalf. Once Nicole is present, he hangs up. She must conduct research on a potential acquisition that could increase Demira Enterprises' revenue. As soon as he tells her if he tried to have Ava assassinated, Nicole will get to work on it. Nicole surmises that EJ is supporting the woman Ava shot even though he denies it. Harris tries to allay Ava's worries about being found and failing to find Susan in a hotel room in London. What if they made a serious error? They are only relying on her paranormal visions of Susan. Harris is certain that everything will turn out well. Ava tells Susan to visit her again shortly before her baby boy completes the task after she has calmed down. Rafe sends a tired Jada home from the station. He will find the Ava witness she discovered. Since Wendy doesn't even know Ava, Tripp can't express how grateful he is to her for creating fictitious passports for his mother at the hospital. Wendy has sufficient knowledge of her son. Her next move is to search the office for information on EJ, Trip objects, but she departs anyhow. Rafe calls Trip and asks him to come to the station. Eric invites Belle to assist him and Sloan with the adoption procedure at the pub. Belle will undoubtedly assist, but she's preoccupied with the fact that Sean didn't return home last night. She tells her brother about their argument over his drinking and her relationship with EJ. Sean wakes up in bed next to Talia upstairs and holds his head with a pained motion. Oh God, he exclaims. When Talia awakes, she panics. He checks his phone to see whether Belle has texted him yet. He can't believe he cheated on his wife and revealed his marital issues to Talia last night. While Talia begs him to take a break, he feels out of control and is like he took advantage of her. He is instructed to stop apologizing by Talia since she also lost control. She should also feel particularly bad because she owes his wife a great deal of money. Sean, though, argues that he is her spouse. How will he inform her? Ichi pretends to be innocent at Demira, but Nickel is aware of his deceit. She believes he is standing up for the woman because she is privy to information he doesn't want the police to know. In a few months, she'll give birth to his child, so she has a right to know what that item is. Sean asks Talia to keep quiet once they get dressed so he can think about what to say to Belle. She swears she won't say anything and wishes him success. She starts to look worried as he walks away. Belle learns that Sean saw all the texts she sent while she was downstairs in the pub, letting her know at least that he is still alive. But why doesn't he give her a call back? She worries whether Sean hasn't forgave her for having an affair with EJ as tears well up in her eyes. He may be drinking because of this. Before she departs to seek some fresh air, Eric offers her advice on how to deal with Sean. Sean enters after she has left through the door. Where in the hell are you from? Eric is curious. EJ persistently claims to Nicole that no one is aware of what he has done. Nicole responds, nobody but his client. As long as he keeps his client secure, E.J. is convinced that she won't betray him. He wouldn't put their resources at jeopardy for anything. Nicole is prompted to leave when Wendy knocks on the door. Wendy displays a comprehensive report on a system improvement to E.J. She pretends to learn that Alvad escaped Bayview on her phone as he flips through it. She makes sharp remarks about it, which only irritate an otherwise unconcerned E.J. who tries to read her report. Rafe informs Tripp in the interrogation room that Ava and Harris were observed in the alleyway behind his apartment complex last night. Tripp acknowledges that they were in his flat, but they escaped by the fire escape as it became obvious that he couldn't assist them. Rafe departs, leaving him to consider the obstruction claims he might make against him. Ava asks Susan to give her another sign while she is in London. Harris and Ava debate about their different levels of anxiousness about the scenario when she doesn't get one. Being a Vitali, Harris exclaims, so act like one. She stomps off to the restroom. Belle and Nickel cross paths on the square. 
Belle catches up with Nickel's baby and reveals that Eric and Sloane are thinking about adopting. Nickel, surprised, agrees that Eric will make a great father. Sean tells Eric at the pub that Jada allowed him to recover at her home because both she and Talia were on night shifts. As Talia descends the stairs, she hears them and immediately runs to the kitchen. Sean is urged by Eric to reply to Belle's texts. Jada enters the house and announces that she is exhausted from work as Sean begins to text. When Belle texts them back after Sean makes a show of introducing himself to her, he departs. After discovering something at Tripp's apartment complex, Jada goes back to the station. Later, she walks into the pub, where Eric mentions Sean having crashed at her house. She agrees and goes upstairs where Talia is preparing the bed. Jada commands her sister, Tell me you didn't sleep with Sean Brady. Rafe meets Tripp again in the questioning area. He warns him that he may now face charges of encouraging and abetting. He crosses the table with an envelope Jada gave him. When Tripp opens it, he discovers Wendy's and his passport's loose pages. E.J. departs de Mira for a meeting after asking Wendy to check his computer mouse. Wendy observes his phone as he sits at his desk. As E.J. comes back, she tries to sneak past his locked screen. He says, May I help you? Sean admits to being hungover when he runs into Belle in the square. She queries his location of last night's sleep. Ava exits the restroom to discover Harris wearing a black tank top and boxer underwear while she is only wearing a t-shirt. She gives him a quick once-over before meeting his eyes. Updates and spoilers for Days of Our Lives tease Colin and Kyle Schroeder's Tater Tot Tate Black is no longer a toddler. Theresa Donovan, Brady Black's mother, is informed that Son is making trouble after receiving a call from his school. Although she now causes different kind of problems, Theresa was quite the troublemaker when she was a teen. She was a drug user who eventually began dating Matteo, alias El Fidio, a Mexican drug lord, leaving Tate briefly with Brady. Brady hadn't seen Tate for years when she moved to California with him, yet he is the one who receives the call from his school when he is in trouble. Tate, who is no longer a toddler, has apparently been causing quite a bit of problems at school. Theresa, did Shane or Kimberly Donovan ever express the wish that she would have a child much like her? Even though Brady believes Tate is better off with him, what impact may it have on his daughter if Tate had done something so terrible that he could have gotten himself expelled? After another court appearance, Brady and Kristen Dinmaro will now share custody, much to Kristen's displeasure. Brady would believe Tate is better off with him, though, because he knows Theresa has ulterior reasons and wants him back. She might take a cue from Kristen's strategy when it comes to Rachel's custody and try to get Brady and her to patch things up so Tate can live with both of them. For the time being, Theresa may appear to be moving on with Alex Kyriakis, but she is really simply using him to resent Brady. Tater Tot is no more. This teen is troubled. In any case, Tater Tot is no more because he's aged up quickly, also known as Soap Opera Rapid Aging Syndrome, and is now a troubled teen. Although there is a casting call for performers in their high school years, two in particular, Tate and Holly Jonas, Ellen Alexander, it is unknown who will play him. Tate and the new Holly might not appear for a while, because do all tapes six months in advance. By the time fans meet Tate, they will also see a new Theresa. Emily will be the new Theresa after Jen Lilly stated that Gwen Rischek, Von Leuschner, would be leaving the show. The spring is probably when we'll see the new Tate and the new Holly. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.